Hello there, I'm Josh, and this is Alex. Uh, we are the target audience where content is made for absolutely everybody, but specifically for us, hopefully for you too. Um, this obviously looks a little bit different than typical. Alex is usually here with me. Um, unfortunately, right when we went to go do this, he uh, had to pick up a last minute shift at work. Um, I was going to wait, but we've already waited so long for this video specifically. He said to just go ahead and do it. He is planning on calling in at some point over, you know, like FaceTime or something and having his video. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh... Oh, you know, I actually had a delivery. I'm sorry. One second. Hello, I got a delivery for uh, Josh. Alex. Josh? It's me. What are you doing here? Did you really? I didn't know you liked Wendy's. I, I didn't even know you delivered out here. We're not making any money off the YouTube channel. We get like four bucks a month, so I had to get a job. Well, do you have any more deliveries? Well, yeah, I got three more, but I just started this yesterday, so we can just keep this. Well, all right, well, I'm watching the movie right now. Just come in. Oh, sweet. So this is where you live, huh? Yeah, it's cool to have you over. I mean, why? I live like an hour away from you. Why are you delivering so far from your house? Uh, I gotta pay for my mom's college. Well, okay, I guess we're gonna do it in person, so, uh... <laughs> we'll do it live! <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, this is our 500 subscriber special. As we're recording this, we have 1,200 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> a bit late. <laughs> but we are watching Forbidden Planet. This is a movie that you guys, our subscribers, chose for us to watch. Um, and I know absolutely nothing about it. What about you? I know nothing about it. I did no research. I yeah. want to go in blind. Exactly. All I know is that it's made years ago and it's called forbidden planet literally all i know i'm sure people have commented more stuff about it and i'm just like i don't remember anything so we're gonna jump into it if it's your first time here and this is all very weird to you go ahead and subscribe uh, we're watching star trek the original series uh, obi-wan kenobi is starting this week so got a lot of cool stuff here on the channel subscribe become part of the target audience are you ready to start i'm ready let's do this okay What year is this? I don't know. <laughs> I think like 56 or something. Oh, Leslie Nielsen? <laughs> Introducing Robbie the Robot, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a lot of movies from like the 50s around this time? Uh, you know what I watched randomly recently? Because of uh, the Nick Cage movie that was out. They mentioned uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which is 1920s and silent film. and It was hard to watch. <laughs> Uh, but I've actually just watched uh, Rope, Alfred Hitchcock. Just watched that for the first time. That was fantastic. In the final decade of the 21st century, men and women in rocket ships landed on the moon. Almost at once, there followed the discovery of Kuiper Drive, through which the speed of light was first attained and later greatly surpassed. Now, more than a year out from Earth base on a special mission to the planetary system. So a very Star Trek-like opening. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, they're beaming. They're all wearing gray though, which is kind of boring. One thing I like about Star Trek is everyone has different colored shirts. Whoa, Whoa what the hell? <laughs> I find it interesting that they're humans with this extremely alien looking ship. Yeah, it just looks like a straight up UFO type <laughs> ship. Like, like the basic like icon of a UFO. Our destination, Altair 4, is now visible on the main view plate. Which one is Leslie Nielsen? I don't think I've ever seen him not with, like, white hair. <laughs> not like, an old man. Yeah, I mean, when was Airplane made? The 70s? So even that would have been a long time after this? Oh, that's him. That's totally him. On the right? The one, standing up? Yeah, standing up on the right. That's totally him. <sighs> Unrecognizable. That's crazy. Who are you? Morbius of the Blue. Morbius! <laughs> Morbius! <laughs> Woo! Edward Morbius. Morbius sweep. Uh, airplane came out in 1980, so yeah, that would have been, uh, and I'll confirm the date of this, but I think it was like 56. Yeah, 56, so yeah. even that would have been 25 years almost after this. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Morbius, my order is out of survey. Dr. Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> he is not Venom. Commander, if you set down on this planet, I warn you that I cannot be answerable for the safety of your ship or your crew. If you'll just supply me with landing coordinates. He just told you he doesn't want you to land. <laughs> yeah. Probably isn't after long, like, color came out, I'm guessing. Yeah, because didn't it say, like, color vision in the beginning? That's what old movies would say. Yeah, it, would yeah. be a, it was kind of like an attraction, like 3D or something now. Whoa, look at that. Look at the color of that sky. Yeah, but I'll still take blue. Wilson! Aye, aye, sir. Hold the tractor. Aye, aye, sir. 
I think Bosun's a name, or because in Star Trek, whenever that whistle goes off, the subtitle says Bosun's Whistle. Oh, it does? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I don't use the subtitles when we watch Star Trek, so I didn't even know oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this fucking... Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure there's a SpongeBob skit where they put this exact robot in, like, someone's dream, like... It looks pretty badass. Yeah, look at all those things working on the inside. That's a lot. For your convenience, I am monitored to respond to the name... Robbie. Oh. They were introducing him, so he was going to be in several films <laughs> after this. <laughs> the cinematic universe of Robbie. <laughs> Robbie's first film was actually called Forbidden Planet. <laughs> then after that, they're just called Robbie too. It's kind of like Rambo. <laughs> yeah. He, let, he later met up with Howard the Duck. And, uh... <laughs> Robbie. Well, this is an interesting score. <laughs> I'm Commander Adams. I'm sorry, sir, if we're not welcome, but we do have our orders. Point it at the commander. Fire. Locked in a sub-electronic dilemma between my direct orders and his basic inhibitions against harming rational beings. Do you think you would enjoy this, just living on a planet by yourself with a robot? Yes, I actually really like that. <laughs> Before the first year was out, they had all, every man and woman of them, succumbed to a, to a sort of a planetary force here. Only my wife and I were immune. Everyone died but you, huh? Hmm. My dear wife died a few months after the others. Only in her case, it was of natural cause. And yet, in all these 19 years, you personally have never again been bothered by this planetary force. Father. Alta, of course you uh, must make allowances for my daughter, gentlemen. She's uh, never known any human being except her father. Right from here, the view looks just like heaven. Jesus, dude. I wouldn't mind being Robbie in certain ways. Uh, that's only in certain ways, of course. What a very subtle way to say you have a dick. Yeah, and it's like, just immediately hits on her. <laughs> right in front of her father. <laughs> like, come on. How do they train him to do that? You mean like on set? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, no, no, no. What? He's as tame as a kitten. Fasten your seatbelt. I think that's really the coolest thing about Robbie. Is that he can just Jeez. drive that. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. We have like the two moons in the background. I was gonna say two different moons, that's cool. Bosun, just drop the thing down right over there. I've watched a little bit of the show. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's called uh, Below Deck. It's like a reality show about charter boats. I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, and they follow the crew. I'm pretty sure Bosun is like one of the physicians on the boat underneath the captain. So I think it's probably translated into the space, yeah, makes, would be my guess. That makes sense. Did your father know you're out here? He did tell me not to go near the ship. I think those plastic half circles are like to keep bugs out of your face while it's going. Like the weird futures futuristic windshield oh yeah i didn't think about that that's you're probably right <laughs> whoa oh. Commander! put me down sir they never saw him again <laughs> very futuristic hat he's got there looks like a friggin you know 50s fast food worker <laughs> genuine ancient rocket bourbon see here hey <laughs> i am analyzing you're the most understanding soul i ever met up with ow <laughs> Oh. oh, God. Why should people want to kiss each other? Well, it's an old custom. It, it stimulates the whole system. Oh, jeez. Lieutenant Farman. What's the matter with him? Why did he leave? Why did you both act so funny? Well, what'd you expect? You see, you can't run around like that in front of men, particularly not a space wolf like Farman. So for Pete's sake, go home and put on something that'll, uh... I don't blame her, dick. It's your fault for wearing that futuristic dress. <laughs> he seemed to think that all that about biology had something to do with me. Personally, I... Kind of looks like Vincent Price. Yeah, that's... I kept thinking, like, who does he look like? That's it. Still wondering why this planet's forbidden. Did they say that at the beginning? Or are you just going off of what the guy said? Uh, I'm just going off one, the title. And... Oh, the forbidden planet. <laughs> <laughs> Went right over my head. <laughs> This 
invisible man. Now, the two of you claim to have been at your posts and awake. Yet this ship was entered, the heavy-duty hatch was raised and latched back. Pending further evidence, you're deprived of space pay and all privileges. Jeez. Dismissed. I'll just turn my back here. Well, that's the way you feel about it. This planet was the home of a mighty and noble race of beings, which called themselves the Krell. They had walked our Earth and brought back many biological specimens. I see. That explains the tiger and the deer. This all but divine race perished in a single night. Krell metal. Try your blaster there, Commander. Weird uh, cadence there. <laughs> It's not even warm, huh? And no trace of radioactivity. What is this device over here? I call it their uh, plastic educator. Now, you can see that this headset was designed for something much bulkier than my human cranium. What's that? What's happening there? Wow. That's Altera. Simply a three-dimensional image, Commander. Why do they call her Altera? I guess that's her full name. Did, did we learn that earlier? Did I miss that? In my first attempt at creating an image here, afterwards I lay unconscious for a day and a night. But you can imagine my joy when I discovered that the shock had permanently, permanently doubled my intellectual capacity. Maybe it's because I'm used to Star Trek, but I keep waiting for like, okay, when's the, the climax? When's the yeah. switch going to flip? Who's the enemy here? Why is he, you know, it's like, it just yeah. seems more exposition, exposition, exposition. It's like... Yeah, my guess would be that they're hopefully setting this all up for, like, a third act. But, yeah, it's been very slow burn. Yeah. Seems a little too detailed to be a miniature. Are those people there? Yeah, it's them walking. That's a really cool shot. Whoa. Like, all this is cool, but it's like, where, where, where are we going? Well, you think he's been here for 20 years, like, doing all this research. He finally gets to tell somebody. Oh, that's true. That's <laughs> he's true, like, yeah. He's like... Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Electric fence. Yeah, not even just electric, but just straight disintegrate. Yeah. Anybody. No, no warning. Just. Yeah, don't fall into you're it. You're dead. Kill the power on the fence. All right, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My oh God. He left. He made all that booze for him. Ah. Where can I get it, Robbie the robot? Anytime you're hard up for a couple of gallons of lube, you just let me know. Did he just look at the camera? <laughs> it was the, the office look to yeah. the camera. <laughs> right through. Oh. Giant footprints. Venting uh, the stairs. That's cool. I like that. that. That's neat. I wonder how they did that. And the fact that it's like two stairs at a time because its foot would be so big. Yeah, yeah. Nice attention to detail. Uh-oh. First death. Oh, well, gotta cut away. <laughs> Can't have too much. <laughs> I have come to the unalterable conclusion that man is unfit as yet to receive such knowledge, such almost limitless power. He showed him some cool stuff, but do they really have any knowledge of how to use anything? You know, it's not like they even know what it's for. Did you give him permission to get falling down drunk? Drunk, sir? Me, sir? Well, I stuck to Astro, sir. Oh, he's got a uniform now. Upgraded from his... Fast food uniform. <laughs> Good day, Dr. Morbius. I dare say neither of us slept any last night. That's a pretty close guess. The next attack on your party will be more deadly and general. How do you know that? Call it a... a premonition. Also, I mean, he does have experience from his ship all getting killed, so... Yeah. <laughs> Strong, set up a crossfire on those rocks. Okay, so we blew the budget and all that stuff for the Krell station, so we can't put a physical monster in, so it's gonna be invisible. Oh! Whoa! We got a little outline. Look at that. <laughs> well, 
now I understand why they didn't want it <laughs> on screen. <laughs> yeah. Ah! As soon as I saw him run up close to him, I hope he's gonna get fucked. Up. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jerry just ran up. Oh! oh! <laughs> Jerry, you just saw two people run up to him and get destroyed. Why would you do that? Altera. Altera is a really cool name. That is a cool name. I just had a terrible dream. Huh? It was blood and fire. Oh, was it her dreams? Oh, the things have only come out at night, right? When she's sleeping? So it could be her dreams, yeah. The girl and her father, whether they like it or not, huh? Section 86A. Evacuate all civilians from disaster. Oh, great. Well, just leave them alone. One of us gets into that Krell lab and takes that brain boost. Oh, now they want the brain boost, too? Oh, boy. But it said it knocked him out for a full day. Yeah, a full 24 hours. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? Hasn't he got a built-in rule against wringing our little necks for us? He'll just throw your ass. <laughs> Robbie, emergency cancellation Archimedes. <laughs> He's like, all right, none of my business. <laughs> you must leave now. Darling, I'm not going without you. But I can't possibly leave him alone. I just can't. It's like the typical, I've known you for two days, but I love you and I'll risk my life. <laughs> That's how it was in the 50s. Still fucking happens in movies and shit today, too. It's so <laughs> annoying. Oh, shit. He did the brain thing? So you took the brain boost, huh? You ought to see my new mind. Come on, Doc. Let's have it. But the Krell forgot one thing. Yes, what? Monsters from the id. The id? What's that? Doc, Doc. Damn it! Of course. <laughs> I uh, was that. What is that Shrek two with the the frog dad where he's like I? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It might be Shrek three actually. Shrek the third. He's dead. He was one. He's dead. Just Robbie walking away with the body. <laughs> Monsters from the subconscious. Of course, that's what Doc meant. Creation by mere thought. Why haven't I seen this all along? But like you, the Krell forgot one deadly danger. Their own subconscious hate and lust for destruction. Morbius. What? Something is approaching from the southwest. Oh, God. Stop it, Robin. Don't let it in. Kill it, Robin. <laughs> oh, because it's his subconscious? Yeah, and, it's... and it can't hurt him. Oh, wow. So is the message here that everyone has a subconscious of wanting to kill themselves? I don't think kill themselves of like just messed up stuff in your subconscious that you can't control. So when you put your mind in the machine, it creates these things without you, you know, being able to control it. Mm. Although, what about the doctor? He just put, but I guess the doctor's dead, so it doesn't yeah. matter. We're all part monsters in our subconscious. Your subconscious sent its id monster out again. More deaths, Morbius. More murder. Okay, now who saw this and said, okay, Leslie Nielsen, you're going to be the comedy guy from now on? Because that was some pretty good acting there, some passionate acting yeah. for this. So really the only solution is this guy has to kill himself, or be killed, it seems. And they really had to do a real fire for that. Yeah. Stop! No further! I deny you! I give you up! He was able to control his subconscious like that. I wish I could do that. <laughs> Just not have, you know, those <laughs> those thoughts. To, you know, when you're feeling sad, you're just like, nope, not today. Sad? Get over it. <laughs> In 24 hours, it must be 100 million miles out in space. He said a self-destruct. So they would make this whole thing... With like that easy of a self-destruct button. <laughs> yeah, right there. Like, what if someone tripped? Oh! Yeah. They took Robbie. Hey! hey! <laughs> Cinematic universe. Three, two, one. Your father's name will shine again, like a beacon in the galaxy. 
fast fade. Ah, oh, wow. The end. And now he's just going to have this... uh. 18 year old uh <laughs> kind of alien wife i mean she's human but has lived her life on this planet far away from earth yeah but they got robbie so all right we got the uh the robbie post credit scene coming up <laughs> <laughs> oh look how short the credits are there's only like 10 seconds left yeah they got it in and out back in the day well also like back in the day all a lot of the credits were front loaded you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, well uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was that was good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, for a movie in the fifties, obviously you have to have kind of tempered expectations for certain things. Uh, but I thought like effects and visuals and all that was actually one of the strongest points of the movie. I thought it looked really cool. Almost kind of like Blade Runner in some in some scenes, mm-hmm. some visuals. Um, so I really enjoyed all that part of it. Yeah, the set pieces were fantastic. I the entire time watching, I'm like, how do they do this? How did they create this? And when they did have limitations, like they're not going to build a thirty-foot uh, monster rubber suit, you know, it's like, oh, what if we just, what if it was just like the outline of it? What if it's invisible? So like they use their money wisely to build their sets and their enemies. And uh, in terms of the movie, like the first like two acts, I'm like, what's going on? Like so much exposition, so many random events. I'm like, what is this getting to? And then when he's finally explaining it all, it took him like half an hour to get through it. It's like. Okay, and then once you find out it's uh, the subconscious and really been battling, you know, uh, that whole type of deal about life and all that, you know, uh, oh, it's philosophy type stuff. I thought all that was fantastic and cool, but uh, yeah, it just took a while to get there. Yeah, um, I think that all that stuff was cool that it was showing when they had that whole huge expositional sequence. Uh, but I kept thinking, like, well, they're obviously setting all this up to set up something, but really the only thing that we needed to know was that machine that they put their brain in, right? Because that's what ended up creating the, those monsters. So all that other cool stuff that he showed them was neat, but it, it was just kind of extra fluff in, in a movie that's already not that long. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, plot-wise, I do like the story. I think the idea of a monster being created by your subconscious... Uh, this species thousands of years ago they got really smart but they didn't think of the fact that even them as an advanced species still has this subconscious inside of them and they couldn't control it it's still a little bit confusing though like if it's created from your subconscious and therefore won't kill you like the whole thing about him and his wife being immune would have been because it's his monster so Uh... how how did the krell all die out then because the monsters would have been created by them like who would have killed the last krell i but it's whatever. You don't got to think about it that I mean, hard. They, they were all smart enough to have that happen to them, though. Like, we're mm-hmm. like we're, we're not as smart, but they all had that ability. So they all got... Oh, they all created monsters? They all you? created yeah. monsters, yeah. But only he was smart enough, and the doctor died from it. Like, he was, like, the only one, the smartest human ever who could have ha- had it happen to, and it did. I wish it would have had a little bit stronger of a uh, solution, though, than just him being like, okay... Now stop, <laughs> you know, and then it's, I, you know, I wish they could have come up with some type of interesting way to figure out how to defeat the monster, but it is what it is on that point. I'm not going to punish them too bad for that. Yeah, I mean, what, what else can you do? They, <laughs> they blew their budget on those sets. Oh my God. Uh, those were great. Um, but I do like that it was the doctor's decision because he wanted to get, like, uh, he wanted to keep that Krell uh, technology in space and then he decided himself he's going to blow it all up. You know, it's like, I think humans have to advance on their own. It's uh, too much right now. Yeah. I- I'm reading the uh, Amazon description here. I like that the first sentence of the d- movie description is, A dutiful robot named Ravi speaks 188 languages, as if that's the big plot. Like, <laughs> that's the big part of the movie. It's like such a minor part of the movie. Like, he was, he was meant to... He was meant to set up, like, one little uh, plot device for, like, Oh, I can't kill uh, other humans or myself. And then later on you find out that the monster is just a subconscious him which was neat how they set that up yeah i did really like robbie um i think that if back then if they used robbie to promote the movie i totally would understand why like it's a really cool part of the movie he doesn't end up playing that huge of a part like i felt when they were setting him up in the beginning he would do something uh instrumental to the ending of the movie but Mm. he ends up not but it's fine he's just a nice little piece of the movie yeah and the side plot where he just makes booze for that guy didn't really have anything to do with the overall plot but hey it's fine but yeah solid solid 
So, uh, NF, right? We give the movie an uh, F. Oh, yeah. It was, I lost interest halfway. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, that's our reaction to Forbidden Planet. Um, obviously, this is only a portion of the movie that we show here for our reaction. Uh, we did rent the movie on Amazon Prime, but I'm sure you could get it, you know, wherever you rent or watch movies if you want to check this one out. Uh, if you've already seen the movie or are watching it with us, if you're one of the ones that wanted us to react to this one, comment down below. Anything we missed or didn't talk about or maybe something you have a different opinion on, we're always extremely interested. And, again, obviously, thank you to our first 500 subscribers but thank you to everyone who's here now uh and joining us here on the channel we got to do another poll for a thousand right for another film maybe <laughs> well we'll definitely do more polls i don't know we're already past a thousand though so maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll do it for 15 something that we don't uh t wait too long and then <laughs> tri triple the audience by the time we do it um and also comment down below what you guys think of us doing this in person i know there's pros and cons to it for sure i assume as a viewer so let us know this is something we could do uh you know more often uh obviously when we have the time and we're able to this was part of the reason it took us this long we wanted to do this one in person but let us know how you guys enjoy that as opposed to how we usually do the reactions you know over the internet yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that'll do it for us here at the Target Audience. I'm Alex. This is Josh. We are the Target Audience, where content is made for absolutely everybody, but we think it's specifically made for us and hopefully for you as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the... Hey, do you have any gas money?